Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Yax is your boy Daddy Easy here, iPod Jabra Hacker, otherwise known as only using the Tomahawks. Some of you guys may know me as Easy, like I always say, to the black, to the blue, my avatar on my YouTube channel. Yeah, buddy. So, I can't believe I am making this video. It's just like, how far can you go without being ignored by gamers? And it's not gamers specifically. It's just a specific bunch of gamers. All right. This is going to be a fast rant. I got to go someplace. So I'm going to say this as fast as I can. It's going to probably be a 10, 15 minute video. I don't know. But I do not understand the mindset of Xbox fanboys. Actually, I can't understand the mindset of Xbox fanboys because I was once an Xbox fanboy. When a 360 came out, I used to argue with my friend, right? I used to argue with them. The Xbox is the best box. I was sounding like that. I was straight sound like that. It's better than PlayStation. It's better than PlayStation. Bruh, the 360 was the best console, but it still got beat by PlayStation. How? Right? I was bleeding green. Bruh. But I rock blue now. <laughs> but um, I'm a PC gamer, right? I PC game. Um, I got multiple PCs. I brought this ROG Ally, as you can see. A PC game, right? I prefer PC gaming over consoles because I can do what I want, play what I want, play indie games, play freaking emulators without have to worrying about a freaking company like Nintendo, Sony, Xbox, Microsoft, whatever, being up in my ass, right? I can emulate all those games, right? I don't understand how you Xbox fanboys can literally sit here and root for a company that is not in your freaking favor. Now, like I said, I was an Xbox fanboy. I was one of y'all. One of us. One of us. I was one of you guys. I was one of y'all. I bleed green at that time. As I stated, if you watch all my videos, you see dozen multiple videos of me saying why I hate Sony. Why I hate PlayStation. Dozens of videos. Dozens, dozens, dozens. Millions. I don't have a million videos, but dozens of videos, right? Saying why I hate Sony. You know what made me make the jump? You know what made me make the jump? Right? I said this story before. I opened my eyes. Like, I got a PlayStation 3. I finally got a PlayStation 3, right? I was like, hold up. I'm paying for Xbox Live Gold to play multiplayer, and PlayStation is free. You know what really opened my eyes? When well, my 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 now 18 year old son has asked me for an xbox and i brought him the xbox right and it, it, it daunts me i was like hold up that means i gotta buy him an xbox membership i gotta pay to keep his membership active right playstation 3 has no service to play multiplayer Wow, that's when my eyes start. That's when my third eye opened. Wow, PlayStation is better. Wow, then Microsoft kept pushing it with the narratives of the subscriptions. So it came to the point where Sony had became under fire and started had the charging for subscriptions. If you would have left it up and Microsoft ain't do what they did, we Sony dudes would have just kept on getting uh. uh the service is free. When do I forgot when did we started paying for services? I think we started paying for services when the PS4 came out. I just don't remember exactly when when you actually transitioned to actually paying for multiplayer. Now I don't think we was paying for multiplayer just then. I think it started like like within the first year of PlayStation 4. I just can't remember. But um it just came to the point where I was like, damn. Then pre-orders came for the Xbox One. I was hyped. Xbox One coming out. Boom. I went to Xbox One. I told my my own baby mother, 
slash my wife, wife that passed away. Um, I told her not current, um, who I'm with now. Um, told my wife I want an Xbox One. She was like, "You really want an Xbox One?" I was like, "I want an Xbox One. It got the connect. It got freaking um." I could put the cable box to it so we could watch TV and play the games. And we got the Kinect because the 360 had the first Kinect. We had Kinect 2. Bet. Boom. All right. Uh, Microsoft came out and said some bullshit. And that's when I already knew. Wow. My words was, wow. Xbox is doing us like that. Words was, if you can't afford an Xbox... I'm trying to make sure I'm saying correct. If you can't afford the Xbox, there's called the Xbox 360. Wow. So you telling your people's, your, your gamers, your supporters, if you don't like the Xbox One, you can stay with the 360. Wow. That's what we come into now. Okay. So I said, fuck you, Microsoft. I'm getting a PlayStation. I killed my pre-order for the Xbox and got me a PlayStation 4. PlayStation 4 came out. I was like, wow, damn. I was the first person to be able to hook up my Yeti microphone to the PlayStation 4. I just wanted to see if it was going to work. Plug my Yeti microphone into it. See if it worked. It was working. I made a video, dropped the video. Now everybody is able to use microphones on it. I was the first person on YouTube. The very first person. When it dropped that night um, for the midnight launch, I got home, opened it up, popped my Yeti mic in, see if it could do the recordings because they was mentioning that you have full recording on it. I wanted to see if my microphone worked. It worked. Boom. No problem. What? First person. I have the videos up. You can check that out. Right? Then millions and other people started um, uh, doing the same thing. Oh, now you can use any mic. I was the first person to do it. Right? So I still wanted the Xbox One. Still wanted the Xbox One. I saved up. Got the first Xbox One I got. Right? Guess what happened? I got the Xbox One. Got it home. Now, mind you, it was only two games. Really, two games I was really playing on it. Um, I got Dead Rising and um, Call of Duty Ghost, right? I popped in Call of Duty Ghost because at the time, if you upgraded from the 360 to the um, Xbox version, you had to pay a fee, but PlayStation didn't charge you a fee. I think it was a $10 fee or it was free. You just popped in your PS3 disc inside the PS4 and it worked, right? No problem. If you wanted to upgrade it directly to it, I think it was a $10 free. Or I think PlayStation actually did it free. I just don't remember because it's been a, a long time. Um, So I'm playing Call of Duty Ghost, right? Xbox is saying 4K, 60, best graphics. Well, 1080p, whatever, maybe. I forgot exactly what, what was said on it. Um, 60 frames per second, 1080p, whatever it may be, right? I'm playing Call of Duty Ghosts. I'm like, yo, something don't look right here. Why this shit look blurry? I get the PS4 version. Pop in my PS4 disc, right? Call of Duty Ghosts. I got still. I still with a bracelet. I got my other bracelet over here. This is from the Call of Duty Ghosts thing right here. My shit is all torn up, right? I got another bracelet sitting down here. I got like, I got every Call of Duty that ever came out. No cap, right? I can show y'all all my games right now, but it's too many of them, right? Um. I pop in PS4 version. I'm playing it. I'm like, ooh, this shit look good. I go and pop in the um, the Xbox version of Call of Duty Ghost, right? Blurry as hell. I then find out Microsoft lied because the game was only at 900p. Microsoft saying 1080p 60, right? 60, right? 1080p 60. Why was your shit 900p? PlayStation 4, 1080p 60. Really? 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 Now, check this out. I'm playing Dead Rising, right? Y'all already know the deal. Know the deal. Gears, Hay Hold on. Gears, Halo, Forza. Those are only three games Microsoft basically do. Bro, all three of them, right? Forza ran okay. Halo. <laughs> Gears. Okay. Ghost. Okay. Popping Dead Rising, right? Popping Dead Rising. I get artifacting. No, no, no. Rise, Son of Rome. It was that I was playing. Rise, Son of Rome, right? Pop that in. I got some weird 
artifact thing. Return that motherfucker back. Mm-hmm. Return that motherfucker back. Got another one. Problem with that one. Return that motherfucker back. Got another one. That one worked. Then they did a revision. Xbox Series S. Supposed to be more powerful than the Xbox Series... Oh, Xbox... I mean, Series X. Sorry. The Xbox One S, right? Supposed to be more powerful than the Xbox uh, One, right? Got the GameStop Edition one, right? The kind of one that looked like the Xbox Series S right now, right? The one that looks like that, right? I got that one. Had problems with that one. Sent it back. No 4K, 16, no none of that stuff that they kept saying. Next, Xbox Series... I mean, sorry, Xbox One X. Now, this is around the time that my wife passed away. Um, She actually brought me that for my birthday before she passed. She actually gave me the money. Then when she passed away... um. I just wound up buying it. Got that. Problem with that one. And this is the one, the last Xbox I got that my wife actually gave me before she passed away, right? Had a problem with that one. Returned it back when I was in Jersey um, because I was going to my wife's funeral. Uh, returned that sucker back. Just needed something to do in the hotel like that. I was already in some other crap. Turned that sucker back. Got another Xbox. And, and it's on video. It's documented on video. I showed it. I showed it. Y'all can go and look at it yourself. Not 4K it was 4K 30. PlayStation 5. I mean, PlayStation 4. The Pro came out. I only had to buy one PlayStation. I had a PlayStation 4. No problems. Upgraded to the PlayStation 4 Pro. No problems. 4K 60. Now. We're back to where, Route 1. Xbox Series X, right? I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get the Series X. I wanted the Series X because they said the most powerful console. So I was gonna get a Series X because I already knew I wasn't gonna be able to get a PS5 because all the crap that was going on with the PS5s wasn't able to get it. So I was gonna give me an Xbox Series X, right? Changed my mind. I was like, you know what? Um, I wound up copying a PS5 on Walmart. I got a tutorial showing how to get the PS5 at that time. Got my PS5, never looked back. Used that all the time. I was already building PCs and stuff like that, so basically that's what I was using. But I still wanted a freaking Xbox. So I had the opportunity to buy an Xbox um, Series X. My head kept saying, no. No, don't buy it because there's no games. That's what kept saying in my head, there's no games. So I brought an Xbox Series S. My Series S is sitting right here, right? Right, 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 right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's my controllers. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So y'all can't say, I don't play on Xbox. I don't want to hear none of that crap, right? Here it is right there. I have not touched that game, that console, at all. I don't like Xbox no more. Is doing games for it, then y'all fanboys keep rooting for a company that don't give a crap about y'all. Stop that shit. I don't bleed green. I bleed blue. I bleed PC. PC Master Race and PlayStation. That's all I play now. Because Xbox is trash. They showed their colors, and you guys is just like this microphone, just doing that to them. Y'all, yo, before I get out of here, Dylan from Predator said it best himself. You're an asset, an expendable asset, and I used you to get the job done. Got it? Y'all fanboying? Yo, Zaire, Kid Smooth, Crap Gamer. All these Xbox fanboys have even admitted that PlayStation was better. But you, come guzzlers, y'all fanboys, these Xbox. It's still, but the Xbox is the best box. But you got no games. Starfield, terrible. I'm playing it on PC. Terrible. I played it on the Xbox Series S and the X. Terrible. 30 frames. It's 2023. Why are we playing games in 30 frames per second? 
playing on PC. Guess what? I'm playing it on this. And guess what? On this, I'm getting 45 to 50 frames per second depending on the settings. And the Xbox Series X can't do that. Can't play 60 frames per second for Starfield. And I'm getting 40 to 50 frames on this. That's way underpowered than the... You guys need Jesus. I, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting out of here before I start preaching, bro. I'm going to have another video later on. Come on. 30 frames per second. Come on. Forza, Forza, what is it? Forza Motorsport, right? Missing modes? We're going to charge you full price? Game Pass is crap. Y'all keep saying Game Pass is better. You get all this. It's crap. Only games I just seen on there is games that I'm not even interested in. I'm a gamer. I'm very picky with games. For me to say Game Pass is trash and for me to say PlayStation, I I'd rather pay my subscription with PlayStation and um any other service besides Xbox. Game Pass is trash. The cloud service is trash. It's lag as fuck. I be playing cloud gaming on here right cloud gaming on here and it's lag i have five gigabits right gigabytes right well i got wi-fi what is it wi-fi six right i have wi-fi six it's just still not fucking mm. let, me, let me stop let me stop i got wi-fi six right and cloud gaming still sucks a thousand down 1200 up files Really? Cloud game is not the way it is. Cloud game is not ready. It's not ready. I'm sorry to say cloud game is not ready. Game Pass is trash. I'm going to say it like this. PlayStation Cloud, whatever, if they do have a cloud service coming out, it's trash too. Cloud service is not ready for 2023. Maybe 2027, 20, 2030, maybe in the future, but it's not ready right now. I'm just putting it like that. Y'all don't have to blame me. Remember, I'm a person that's very picky with my games. I don't play certain games. I play first-person shooters. Um, I'm actually playing the uh, First Descent, Ascendant. I actually like it. And I don't play games like that. I like, um, I love The Division. I'm not really into MMOs or um, RPG MMOs. I do like The Division. Um, I put a lot of hours in The Division. Games like The First Descendant, I actually like that. I'm playing Syndicate right now. I don't play games like that. But I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it because of ROG Ally. PC gaming. I, I, console gaming, the Xbox chain is just pushing me off from gaming. I'm going to get out of here because I got some place I got to go. I'm just informing you guys basically what's up um, and why I'm telling you why you Xbox fanboys need to stop. Y'all need to just quit. Stop cop guzzling because it's making y'all look stupid, and I'm tired of this whole Xbox and ponies. This console war crap is retarded. I just like poking fun at you Xbox dudes and you Sony dudes because y'all go backwards and forwards. And let me just say this before I get out of here. I do not blame Sony dudes for coming at and putting a foot on Xbox next because they come at you guys with facts. You guys have no games. Microsoft just buying companies because they can't win. Your Lord and Savior, Big Phil, even said himself out his mouth. We lost console wars. In 2027, if Game Pass does not move from, what, 25 million subscribers, that they will be cutting off gaming, console gaming. They're going to be leaving the gaming section, and period. So that Activision deal that you got, don't expect Call of Duty to be doing something because like what Microsoft always does, they're going to abandon the shit. They're going to buy it and abandon it. And if whatever game comes out, it's going to come out whenever they feel like making it. So that's your history. That's going to be your future for Microsoft. So will I be buying Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3? I don't know. I don't know. I don't like Modern Warfare 2, and I'm a COD gamer. I love COD. I love COD, but I don't think I can support it this november i don't know i might buy it i might pre-order it i don't know what i'm gonna do am i gonna buy it? i'm gonna buy it on pc and playstation since if this is gonna be the last year i'm gonna buy it on pc and um 
PC and freaking um PlayStation, but I will not be buying it on Xbox. I'm dead ass. I won't be buying it on Game Pass. Um, I won't be buying a subscription for Game Pass at all because I don't like Game Pass. I don't support Game Pass, and it's trash. Like I said, and I'm like, but you got Game Pass right now. Yeah, I got Game Pass now because I got it free because I brought this. I got three months free or Game Pass Unlimited because I brought this. And I don't even use it. The only games I got on this from Game Pass is Liza P, um, Payday 3, and Starfield. And that's on this and on my PC. I do not have it on my console whatsoever. So that being said, that's it. And I'm out. Deuces. And I'll catch you guys later. I'm out of here. Peace.